Podcast. I'm your host, Rod Anilia. And today we're back at the Lemurian Ascension Mother Earth Roundtable with Queen Helen of Maharlika. Welcome, Queen. Thank you. Would you give us the honor? Uh, would you give us the honor of, of stating your beautiful, full, and glorious name because it has such a beautiful activation to it? I am Queen Maria Helen Fatima Pandolino Abdurraja Elizabeth the Third. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing that. I I think your name is so beautiful and. And it has such a vibration to it that when you state it, you know, it's like a frequency. So thank you. So today we're just going to be jumping right in from where we left off. And I just want to start off, you know, last time we spoke about, you know, opposing forces that are trying to work against you and the, and the royal family and still you rise. So I'd like to ask what makes you so powerful? Wow makes me so powerful it's because of god our creator our allah that has been with me inside out and he is giving me the necessary the important guidance that's why i was able to stand out throughout the world he is him and i would always say god is my armor truth is my banner and justice is my passage to achieve my royal mission and my royal mission is to save the poor and this is going to be very very relevant because i am trying to put justice against those people those oppressive people suppress suppressive people that put the poor into the pit of death. I am become powerful because I am recognized. I am given the authority and the power of God, Allah, and I am recognized by my ancient ancestors, the goddesses, the incan spirit, the enchanted kingdom, and all my royal family from the different denominations because this is beyond religions, but the beyond races. But still, I could say I am the queen because my people recognize me and follow the queen. Mm -hmm. That's That's beautiful. Thank you, queen. Um, It's such an inspiration to, you know, be in contact with such a, you know, self-empowered woman but, but also working with the elementals and all the enchanted, it goes far beyond just the ordinary mundane life. There is a whole other world. And actually, Maharlik is known for its enchantment. You know, this is part of, it's a, it, it's a secret, but it's also known by, by few who still work with that enchanted kingdom. And so speaking of enchantment, I would like to ask you, you know, there, there are so many signs at this time of these shifts and changes and that the enchantment is coming back and that the royal lineages of Maharlika are coming back. And I'd like to ask you, what are the signs of the times? The signs of the times has been laid down by God himself, our creator. He has been asking us, to go back to him. We are the creation of God, of Allah. But many of us abused that power in us. We become little gods surpassing his power. We become scientists that even the DNA is being manufactured being re-engineered and this is the one that god allah does not want to give us so the signs of the times we have seen the severe tornadoes the typhoons the earthquakes these are the signs of the times and now we have 
so much to see that even the heavens are manifesting. The clouds are even speaking. The manifestation of His power is being given to us. The signs that really that is very important now are the chaos. The things that has been given to us is far more of relevant because the signs is now the queen to really give them the reminder to repent and go back to him that is prophesied that is given by all the ancient forefathers and even predicted by nostradamus and predicted given in the lady of fatima in 1917 that is the black fatima the Kayumangking Ina that will surface into the Pearl of the Orient, into the land of promise. Wow, that's so beautiful. It, yeah, I so resonate with what you're saying. I've been feeling that so much in my heart lately, too, that, you know, humans have tried to take their will and, and surpass the beauty of the divine creator, you know, the natural order. And um, this this leads nothing to chaos, nothing to pain and suffering. And we must come back to divine order, you know. And um, I so resonate with everything you say, Queen. It, it, it gives me like chills through my body. Um, I, I would like to ask you a question. You know, lately um, there there are heads of state, and they're talking about. Mafa Lindo. Could you explain this to me and maybe even pronounce it better than I did? <laughs> yes. but this that is is... Thank you, Princess Rada. Mafa Lindo is the acronym name of Malaysia, Philippines, Indonesia. That is an agreement rooted from the, the Treaty of Spain, the Treaty of Paris, and it has been extended, extended. To the British North Brunei, and the last treaty is Mafilindo. That is a 50 years uh, signed agreement between the Malaysian government, represented by Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al Hajj, represented in Indonesia is Sukarno, and in the Philippines is Jos Dado Makapagal. But this treaty is being governed and protected by the royalties. The one as an associate director is Queen Elizabeth of England. So Queen Elizabeth II is mandated to serve supposedly the entirety of the kingdom of Lupusu, but we were forgotten. And that is the reason Elizabeth III, by law of succession from the forefathers, Elizabeth is a global name that is beyond the heavens and below the earth. That's why when you have that name, you become powerful, if you only know your name. But that name, as the successor, the successor, I have yet. Now, as you can see, this Brunei is the managing director. It was signed by Omar Ali Saikutin III. That is the wife of our auntie, the young, the young, we call him the young, our family. These are the secrets that we need already to resolve. And we have also from Singapore, the blood of Lake Kuan Yew. So all of this are given the time that we have all of this. It's uh, not least, under, okay. So all of this. It's not, it's not on the right. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. These are rooted in the different treaties, and all of these documents are there. So my, my point is, it is not that I am showing that because uh, something is coming up, and I just have to show it to you that the grandfathers are behind all the treaties in the past. The treaties that has been given to the world is being initiated and governed by the royal family. So we have Johor. Johor. Johor is ruled 
by the grandfathers from the Kiram side. Tungku Abdurrahman is a Kiram family. So you can see that the Kiram, the Alams, the Alam is the owner of the sovereignty, the lands of the entirety from Philippines going up to Kalimantan, Borneo. That is the, the side of the Indonesian. That's why the treaty has been signed because of the caretakership of all these countries. So of all these areas being governed by the family. So we have the Philippines that took good care of our oil field, which is Mindanao, Sulu, Palawan. So these are the territory that is under the protectiveness of the Philippine government. But again, we were covered, we were enslaved because they favored the different sultan. The Sabah and Sarawak is protected by Malaysia. And then the Kalimnaman, Kalimantan and Bulungan is protected by the government of Indonesia. That's precisely the reason that I have to come out to fix as a Mapilindo queen because I am the landmark of the years from the day I was born. They started this, having all these conferences that they have to sign. So in July 3, 1963, I was born and I become the landmark of this treaty, which was signed in September 16, 1963. But in July, they have already initiated a lot of meetings, a lot of caucus to be able how to make laws, how to make this agreement vital to each countries. So comes the Manila Accord until all of this, they covered, they covered, and they doctored, they adulterated. That's why, Princess Maya, you have tried to search it in Google. You tried to search it in internet. They have already manipulated the agreement to suit their game of throne. This is the power of the game of throne, trying to have all of them seated into power. Because the treaty from Spain it is given the power and authority from God, from Allah, through our income spirit. That's why we don't die. As I said, we don't have the time to die because we have to fix the global earth. So, therefore, in this Matilindo, they have to rectify their errors because in this comes the money. Because of the resources that we have, imagine the Minsapala, where the oil, gas, deuterium, all of this buried asset, the gold, the resources of the vast ocean, the rich agricultural land, they have exhausted, they have abused that for their own benefits, but forgetting the royal family that has been eating in like camote, you know, the sweet potatoes, they have forgotten the lineage supposedly for, uh, for them to benefit, including me and the Raja. So with the Sabah and Sarawak up to now, they cannot get it unless they recognize the queen of Mapilindo, the ASEAN queen, the ASEAN that is the Commonwealth countries under the jurisdiction and the administration of Queen of England because the Queen of England power and authority is also coming from the forefathers of this Lupasug. Okay, the G5 countries, we have the Lupasug, we have Germany, France, Italy, and England. So all of them, all of them are indebted to God, to Allah, and to our forefathers, the father of Queen of England, King George the, 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 the Sixth, they are all coming from us. We are just having this reincarnation. Again, I have to go back. Queen was crowned 
in April 23, 1953, and Saba. That is the power and authority given to him, to her rather. So, as the queen there, so the mandate is to serve. However, as we have discussed, this is the time that the Matilin, the queen, the queen of the royal empire of the Lupasu, of Sulu in North Borneo, of the royal Hashemite Sultanate of Saba, Sultanate of Sulu, has to come and rectify the errors of the past. So the Mapilin, though, is a royal family given authority to all the head of states. So the Mapilindo countries is obligated to return that power and authority to us. That's how powerful the queen again and the king of Southeast Asia. Tunku Abdurrahman throne is the king of Southeast Asia. He is the first prime minister and the first king and last king of Southeast Asia. He lowered himself to be able to serve Malaysia. Malaysia is called in the past Semenanjung Malayo. He created that together with Queen of England because you become a country once the United Nations give you the authority. And the United Nations is under the sovereign power and authority of the Queen of the Universal Magnum. That is the most powerful title and authority I have, I have received from our forefathers, from our Incan spirit, from our enchanted. So by this, you can see that this is the game of serving the poor that we need really to work it up. So Tunko Abdurrahman has favored his grandson, Raja Muhammad Gamar Mamay Hassan Abdurrajak, Al Sharif Sultan Gamar bin Abdul Gabar, Jamalul Kiram III. So he succeeded from predecessor of law that 16th Sultan, which is Tunko Abdurrahman Putra Al Hajj, Hussein Kamaluddin in Brunei. So Raja Hussein, Raja Anang Hassan Pasang, and Raja Usman. And the good thing is, the prima facie, Raja Usman, that to Ismail Mun Ali, Sultan Muhammad Ismail Ikiram is alive as the protector and keeper of the agreement of Mapilindo and the keeper and the one signing in the past for all the assets and properties of the Kirams. So here he is with me because he protected me even before I was born. All the southern Maktum protected me. That's why Queen has this intellectual acumen, the capacity to go beyond. The wisdom that is given to me is from them, from God, from Allah. How could I withstand all this ostracism, all this moral attacks, all this suffering if I am not chosen by them. This is mainly the thing that the Queen of England is seated into power, was seated into power because of them also. So literally, to become the Queen as the successor, it has to come from this inner circle, this round table of the divinity to be able to have this ruling. So, Sukarno is also a bloodline that is Indonesia. Just Dadu Makapagal is also a bloodline. And that is primarily, I am calling, it is she still alive? The president, the former president, Gloria Arroyo, which I saw, they were in England, they were in America to discuss all this matter. But if they will not come back to the queen of the Magdalene, all their efforts and labors are all futile, nothing, nada, because they have failed to recognize the source of origin, which is the forefathers of the Lupasub. 
that signed all the treaties and agreements all over the globe since the Treaty of Spain, the 300 years that has been given to them, and then goes to the deed of 1878, the British North Borneo, and down to Mactilindo. So this is the power that controls the entire world. Only thing, it is given to the caretaker governments, which are all the head of states. Remember the entire globe, borrowed the backups, the central bank's backups of each country is coming from us. And that is the Hiram's asset and has been really administered, traded by the attorney, in fact, of the Sultan of Sulu, that is President Ferdinand Ejerlin Marcus. So how could they get it? How could the claimants get it? Even if they were doctored, adulterated, machinated, all of the documents, still I am the living testament to prove to the world that I have to rectify each and every one of you for maliciously putting all of us into death by instilling severe poverty in all of us. Wow, thank you, Queen. That is... Uh... We're going deep into this whole theme about the historical value that needed to be seen or heard by many people because this is just unheard of. And in, in a lot of Filipinos even don't know about this history of where it, it has come from, how we are supposed to be filled with gold and then we're the poorest also in the world. So. It, it really shows how the transfer of power has been pulled under the rug, transferred to various places in the world. So can you tell us how, how did it happen? How, was, how did the transfer took place? So why did our ancestors hand over gold to various countries to get them started? Can you please share that? The Sultan of Sulu is the source of origin of the 917,500 metric tons of gold. It has been an accumulated gold since time immemorial. That's why when you see all over the globe, the Sultan of Sulu, there are even Chinese, there are even from different countries, but they failed to recognize the true Sultan of Sulu. The true Sultan of Sulu signed this agreement even with Vatican. That is Sultan Muhammad Ismail Ikiram, and he is alive. And that is the one that has given me the power and authority to recover all the assets. And this royal Hashemite has been abused by this claimant Sultan, but luckily they are now being classified as terrorists. That's why I even forewarned Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. because of his alliance and if together with ex-president Gloria Arroyo still continue to become a claimant, they will put him too behind bars. I could say that. I am telling you right now how powerful the queen is because of this power and authority from God. I am not anymore playing games or just saying things on my own accord. This is the the power and authority coming from God and coming from our forefathers and us, the living witness, prima facie. You cannot defy that even in the world court. I have so many of them, the seven magnum, Raja Baginda Ali Abdurajak surfaces to help me. Ferdinand and Julian Marcos, they are all there. They don't die. That's one thing I could guarantee you. We don't have time to die because we need to serve the entire humanity. So that's how we are. So Sultan Jamalul Kiram II, the 32nd Sultan, is the uncle direct of Raja Mamai, the brother of his father. That is the son of Tungko Abdurrahman Putra Allah's the creator of Semenanjung Malayo, but 
Tunku Abdurrahman is also known as Hussein Kamaluddin of Brunei. So he has entrusted the gold to MacLeod Taliano, to Alfred Dent, to all of this, Gustavus Overbeck, the one that signed the territory. And we have the House Bill 42 that was signed in April 28, 1950. That's why we have our event wherein the Lemurians given me the crown, the scepter, and the throne together with the king. That is already tantamount that we are recovering the entire sovereignty from the Philippine government, Malaysian government, Indonesian government, all this caretaker royalty from England down to Johor, down to Brunei. Just have that. So that 617,000, it was transported to Manila. That is now the backup of the Central Bank of the Philippines. That's why all of your claimants would say, that is your, that is your money, that is your backup. You are all trustee and administrator. It's still God, Allah, is the owner of all those backups that go. That's how we believe. So we were all robbed in bold daylight, as we can say, why we are still suffering. Because they have really killed us. So all the blood of true kirams is being put to death. I am just brave enough, standing to the entire world and fighting. 2009, supposedly I will not be out together with Raja Mamai because the political government and the caretaker governments can still have the capacity to kill us. Because of the treaty and agreement, they can put us into jeopardy by just letting us. We are not true. Because the huge money of the, 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 the king and the queens as of today is more than enough to sustain the operation of all the central banks of the world. That's why all this, the, the, the central banks and prime banks are crushing, collapse, because this is the only way. We have all these goals settled for recovery in all countries. So they have to come. After Mapilindo, I have already requested it and give it to our people. Hold on, I have to post it because uh, our beloved one is trying to give me that he is the one here that will help us. So I am just uh, flushing it. So this is the authority, the translation, if they have to get all the vital documents, it is capsuled in Sabah. It is in the archives of Buckingham. This is the Philippines claims to North Borneo, volume one, that's eight. And this is Sri Paduka Maulana al Sultan Mohammed bin Sri al Sultan Mohammed Fadion. So the Queen of England, if they want to find the truth, they have to get this. I will be sending this to you, Princess Maya. So all of this, so all of this gold is from Lupasun. So all of this has been traded and given to the entire world as their backup. Now, who is then powerful? The one who lent it or the owner? And the owner is still the owner of the entire sovereignty. When you speak about sovereignty, it's not only the land. It's not only the boundary of waters. It is going up, up to the heavens. It is the seven layers above and the seven layers below. Just imagine all of this are part of the, the things that uh, we are going to go through. I'd like to remind uh, our people, this is the power emanates from our hearts, from our soul. And all of this must be given the authority. The authority that coming from the oaks and they are back. So I am going to give you all of this. So, sorry for a while, the destruction is coming from the call of Raja Mamai. <laughs> so I just have to see that all of this will be given some kind of a point of reference. So hold on a second. 
Give me a little while because I am fighting. I just, I just want to remind everyone that this is Lemuria Ascension Mother Earth. And we're coming back to understand what the land of Lemuria or Mu is all about. It's a very long history. It's an ancient history that goes way, way back. And everything that our queen, beloved queen, has been trying to let you know what is going on with this kingdom uh, is uh, it's a long history, and I understand that it might not be very clear to you, but let us continue and have the queen express more of what needed to be heard. Thank you. Thank you, Princess Maya. So we were on that reality, that actuality, that fact that the owner of all the gold is from him. The owner of the sovereignty is still God Allah. So that is the power entrusted to the Incan spirit, to the enchanted, to the land of the prayers. So all of them are part of the coexistence of this entire globe. That's why the Lemuria is very powerful this time. And we are ascending to help humanity to live comfortably that's why all these rules, all these policies, all of this are all part of the new generation to live comfortably into this global earth. So the Lemurians are in harmony to help us. So we are here. So all of those gold, they are the caretaker. The bank below is the one helping me. To secure all this asset, all this gold. So still, I account this for our Lemurian forefathers, of our grandfathers, to really secure this for the new rule of law, the divine law, law rather, the divine rule. And this is now the time. So we have informed even Malakanyang about this. The absolute monarchy, we have given them already notices we have given them the notice of absolute authority that was given to all embassies of the world. And now, hopefully, I will be giving a forceful message to all the world to come and unite as one, as royal family, so that the political government assigned to them shall survive after we have to give back the backup, but they have to sign new agreement with us. Okay, this is wonderful. Thank you, Queen. All right. So I believe uh, what I feel very strongly is is to introduce next time in our next session, uh, perhaps we can interview King Mamai, your beloved sure. husband with you, yeah. and bring him yeah. on yeah. so that we can understand the history also, how he became a king, how you became a queen. And because still so many people don't know much of this amazing reality that you're existing and it, it's important for people to understand this so i really appreciate this queen thank you very much princess maya because you know every cent that we have is to bring out the truth every penny they have also by the millions by the billions is to cover us up that is the irony of it all but because of our strong connect with the enchanted, with the incant, with all these grandfathers coming back to life. Then here we go. We survive. So I really would love to bring in Raja Mama to all the world to see. Absolutely. Princess Yada and Princess Maya. Because he is the grandson. The grandson of Prophet Muhammad. And blessed by Prophet Isa. That's why in May 1, 2009, the light really penetrated his heart and it has been shining. I, it was documented. So he is the king of the poor, as I am the queen of the poor. He loves to be walking in the street together with his people. So sometimes I fear for his life, but he would always say, I am being guided and guarded 
by our enchanted ancient forefathers. That is King Mamai. And this map, Pilindo, he can elaborately tell you how the grandfather instructed him that he is only to come out after 2013 upon the expiry. So even the father has been giving notices to the entire Mapilindo countries that we are alive. But the problem is there is one manipulating mm -hmm. the head of states. And now, as I can see, because President Gloria Arroyo, the former president, is supposedly there because of the secret of his father, Jos Dado Papagal. But with that, Raja Mama, I can say so, and the truth will set us free. But because of this, now we are ready to embark for a new Big Bang to let the world see that the Queen indeed has the capacity to bring out the truth. And the truth will give all of them the peace of their mind to return what belongs to us. Because I fought for what is belonging to us should be returned to us for the benefit of all the majority poor of the entire world. That's why you see the signs, all the banks are crushing. You see all the prime banks are crushing because the queen asked them to come back and negotiate and restructure their debt. Even the Philippines has that. But of course, we are luckier because the Queen of Philippine Islands is here. The Queen of the Magdalene is here together with the King. So basically what I'm hearing from you, Queen, is that there will be more of a balanced economy in the world. Uh, there, there is no super rich or super poor. It, it's, is that what you're saying? I don't know exactly what you're saying, but is, is that what you're trying to say? Precisely, yes, Princess Maya, equality of rights. Mm -hmm. That is how Queen would like to impose or to give to the world. Not really impose, but be held because we have the freedom. So they take it or not, but the rule of law shall be given to them. It will be a different ruling of monarchy in the past. It is the rule now that they would see the harmony of this respect and love for all individual, regardless if you are rich, regardless if you are poor. But this is now the mechanics that we are going to go through. The system will fix it. The quantum system will give them the equality that they should need. All right, this is wonderful. Rada? So beautiful. Thank you, Queen. Um, your presence is such a gift. And um, I'm so grateful that we get to have these conversations. And I know that many are just tuning in maybe for the first time to get to know you. So I'm really excited to continue these conversations and allow, um, allow your presence to be known and what you're standing for and what you're doing. And little bit like, by little bit, people will, you know, they're gonna start to understand more of your vision and mission um it's very clear to me and it's very exciting and this is just so good you, you, you've given me so much um hope and excitement for the future as, as Sri Sri Nenamorti says the future is brighter than we can ever imagine and i truly believe that so thank you so much um for joining us today for this episode and thank you for everyone for watching please leave your comments and questions so that we can we can ask the queen to share more we'd love to hear your questions so please tune in again for another episode and um until next time so much love and blessings to all thank, thank you. you queen thank you very much princess Rada, princess maya so the queen is very thriving in the most legitimate process i have documented our mission and this is submitted to the senate to the congress dfa supreme court to the royal icj and this is the one that will fix the mafilindo agreement because as i said i am 
here to help. I am here to bring harmony, peace, prosperity, and justice. Thank you very much. God bless. Bye. Bye. Bye for now.